So, thank you very much. I have the pleasure to uh, bring this coach clinic uh, to an end. I hope Stefan didn't kill you guys too bad. Uh, so I can really use you because I'll, I'll need you. We'll do a lot of five on five or in five on five context. Roland already said my topic today is a defensive topic uh, and it's a little more complex uh, than what you've heard uh, in, the, in the previous uh, talks. So I'm, I'm, I'll be talking about uh, defending the Spain pick and roll uh, within different uh, pick and roll concepts. Why did I choose this topic? Well, number one, I wanted to uh, challenge myself also because I've never spoken about this. Uh, number two, I wanted to present you something that you don't get every coach clinic. I, I think there are certain topics that you hear over and over and over again, and there are certain topics that you just don't find, and I, at least I haven't found anything about this topic yet, so I thought, hey, wh why, not, why not starting this? And uh, when you uh, start talking about it, and when you have to present something like this, you automatically start to uh, rethink your philosophy or to double check um, does that make sense, what you've been doing the last couple of years? Uh, because the, the, the topic of Spain pick and roll is, is, I would say, fairly new. So in my beginnings, which was ages ago, um, as, as head coach, nobody spoke about Spain pick and roll because it was non-existent. And um, with the increased usage of pick and roll, we talked about this yesterday, uh, the the element or like part of, of, of the pick and roll concept of the Spain pick and roll uh, popped up, came up, uh, and many teams started to use it all of a sudden. And they use it as, uh, as sets per se. Um, they use it as wrinkles out of a regular pick and roll offense. So it could be a, a, an offense just, just contains pick and roll elements and you just might see that pick and roll offense. Um, and all of a sudden, as a, as a wrinkle, as a surprise, uh, they run a Spain pick and roll action. Um, or, and a lot of times you see this, that some teams use it uh, as quick hitters. Uh, for instance, after an offensive rebound, where you just have 14 seconds time and they uh, want to throw something at you, uh, or even end of clock, end of quarter, uh, end of game situations where they want to put certain players into, into certain positions. Um, another reason why I chose this topic um, is because um, I want to make clear that how important it is to, to have a clear concept, um, to believe in something, uh, and within the concept, make sure that if you defend certain elements out of it, everything makes sense in the context. So I believe in having a clear philosophy and basically bread and butter concept on how to defend certain things. So um, we will have a bread and butter way of defending as you did now, where you did the turnout screens, you did the pin downs, uh, we're gonna have bread and butter ways to defend this. And if nothing else is said, uh, this is what we're gonna do. And then within this concept, uh, we're gonna have variations. So we're gonna have adjustments, just in case we meet an opponent that's picking us apart uh, when we trail, let's say, through the turnout screen. And the same thing with pick and roll. In modern basketball, it's not enough to just have one concept on how to defend the, the, the pick and roll. That being said, we still have one bread and butter option which fits our personnel the best, which, where we think, okay, our guards, our bigs uh, are best at defending the pick and roll in a certain way. Um, that's our bread and butter thing, and if nothing else is said, this is how we're going to defend it. But you need to be ready to adjust. And these adjustments can be during a timeout. These adjustments can be, um, of course, from quarter to quarter or from game to game. Uh, but a lot of times, or sometimes, you might even adjust from one player to the other. You say, against this player, pick and roll, we go under. This player, we're going to trap. The next player, we're going to push away from the screen, whatever. Depending on how smart your players are, how well educated um, they are, because the one thing that um, I strictly believe in is to keep it as simple as possible and as understandable as possible. The most difficult task in basketball, the hardest thing in basketball is to keep the game simple. And we need to make sure that the concept that we teach makes sense and that within the concept, whenever something happens, we defend this specific element. Now the 
Spain pick and roll, that this makes sense in the whole context and that the players do not have to overthink. Because as soon as they have to overthink, they slow down. When they slow down, they lose aggressiveness. When they lose aggressiveness, it doesn't become effective anymore. And you really lose a lot on defense and on offense. Um, but on defense, it shows by lack of aggressiveness. A lot of times when you hear, well, this team wasn't ready to play, or they looked very nervous, or um, they were... Uh, they look tired or whatever. A lot of times it had to do uh, that things were too complicated, too complex for them. They overthought and slowed down. So I have lost more games in my career by over-preparing and over-coaching than by under-preparing and under-coaching. So sometimes we really have to hold ourselves back and make it as clear and as understandable for those guys as possible. And never forget that on whatever we do, especially on the defensive end, there's always one plan B that you can fall back to. And that plan B is hustling communication. And a lot of mistakes that you make, you can fix by just going to that plan B. And no matter what you do, as long as you do it hard, uh, it might still work for you. Okay, so uh, this is the reason why I, I chose this topic. So maybe this is, if you're coaching under 14, this is not going to be something you put in, hopefully. Yeah, the same probably with under 16. So I would say uh, when you're with an under 18 group that has some tactical fundamentals, you can start worrying about this. Um, if you still say, okay, I'm, whew, this, this might be tactically too, too much for me, try to find out um, the connection between uh, building a philosophy for your team and within this philosophy, trying to make it reasonable for the players. Uh, for those guys, a lot of the things that I'm going to talk about uh, is going to be completely new. And yet we still will try to get something done and make this look like basketball which is going to be very tough because they're the whole day already in the gym. So their level of, of concentration and focus is going to be down here, and it's going to be my job without warming them up, without anything else, to lift them up and, and bring them up and try to uh, get them to a point where we can really do tactical things that they have never heard of before. So guys, it's going to be a challenge. You ready? All right. So... Um, before we speak about the, the defensive part, I want to make sure that we, uh, we're all on the same page when we speak about the, um, uh, what is the Spain pick and roll, what do I want with the Spain pick and roll. Um, for me, if I see as a coach, even if I don't like the element, I might face it. So when I see that I have problems to defend a certain element, I use it in my offense. Because as soon as I use it, my players learn to defend it. So I might have an offense that I never use in my playbook, but I still have it because I want my players to get familiar with this certain element. And we have quite a few. So what we're trying to do is that our playbook is, of course, focused on the, on the elements that I really like and that fit my team, of course. But we're going to have elements on whatever we might struggle with, even if I don't like it. And if I see throughout the preparation of the season, we play a certain team that throws at an element at us that we just have not seen yet or that we have problems to defend, we're going to add an offense with this element. Just for this reason, that the players understand what is the purpose of this offense, where can this offense hurt us and attack us, and then, of course, uh, what are we going to do to defend this, and how do we take it away? If, if, you are not, if you don't have skin in the game, if you don't run it yourself, you will have a very hard time to, to defend it, because then it's just something uh, that, you, that you haven't seen yet. So what we're going to do, uh, give, me, give me 10 guys. I need five guys in red, please. Um, just like yesterday. You remember that we have one big on each team and we have one point guard on each team and uh, one great shooter on each team and, and so on and so on. So since I haven't said hi to you yet, let's do this right now. Let's get something done here. Let's go. Injury list? Yeah. All right. We still got 10 guys? Very good. OK, uh, give me the white team out first. Uh, red team, you just, you just pay attention. You're going to run uh, through it right after. Um, I'm going to give them three fairly simple Spain pick and roll actions. 
um, with different ideas behind it because I want them to, to being able to run it, to see what we look at, in order being able to defend it. So we're basically going to learn three simple offenses. Uh, the first one is very simple. We're just going to call it simple. All right. Uh, let's have the, the point guard on top. Uh, let's have the, the, the big guy down here. Let's have our best shooter. I saw you shoot. You're the best shooter. Let's go. So, um, and you guys stay in the, in the deep corner and please, as far from the three-point line as possible. Deep corner. Remember what I told you yesterday, but not, on, not out of bounds. Here we go. Uh, remember what I told you guys yesterday, the deep corner spots are the most important spots in basketball for spacing. So the more we move up, the more the court shrinks. And we want this defensively, that the court shrinks, but we certainly don't want this offensively. Okay, so we want to start deep, then you can still move up. Uh, the further they're out, the further the offense is out, the easier it will be for us to defend. So we don't mind if the offense starts it like this, starts a little higher, yeah? but we want to defend the perfect offense. So therefore, we also need to, uh, of course, execute it, execute it well. So what's going to happen is, is very simple. Um, you make it easier for him to accelerate and to create speed. And you use him coming up, setting a ball screen. You decoy like we did yesterday, right? You attack away from the screen. You use the screen, and on this, you're coming back and screening his defender. Right now, we don't know how his defender is going to play this, this pick and roll. You just imagine a defender here. You pin him. You use, the, you use the screen. You roll hard to the basket. Stop. And we basically have two, two things that we're looking at, right? Maybe they got surprised on the back screen, and we have the lob pass here for him for easy dunking, or they what the, the offense wants to initiate. They, he has to bump here to prevent this. You step out and you, have to, and you have to shut. Okay, you throw the pass to either one. You finish. You guys take another basketball. You come in right after and run the, and run the same thing. Let's call it simple. Okay, let's call it simple. Here we go. Off gets. Bop. Up. Hit him. Decoy. Good. Bop. Drag him out. Drag him out. Drag him out. Up. Shut. Here we go. Rebound. 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 Okay, stop. All right. You guys come. You guys come in. Always, even when we run things five on zero, let's make sure that we crash the rebound. So we're going to have, of course, the big guy to not wait under the basket because taking the ball out of the net doesn't really help our score sheet, right? So the ball goes up. You try to create some distance here, go for offensive rebound, and I want the wings to crash the board's like crazy. Yeah, so as quick as possible, the ball gets missed. I want those three guys to crash the offensive rim. You score as quick as possible. All right, we go simple. Where's my shooter? Here we go. Simple. Here we go. Pin down, pin down, pin. Down. Stop, 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 stop. You didn't pay attention, huh? You screen him down. All right, you decoy. Pop. Okay, here we go. Pop. And now you back screen on the back screen him. Up, pop. Either one, either one, either one. Up. Here we go. And finish. Okay, good. Yes. Okay, you'll be like, if you get deep, you make sure, and we always implement transition defense, even if we just focus on offense, to make sure that we have the point guard, if he gets deep, immediately ready here to stop the ball. All right, because we want to have one safety, one stopper. All right, but we want those three guys to go for offensive rebound. One more time, white team, one more time, red team, then we'll go to the other one. A little more complex one. Here we go. Simple, simple. Up, 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 good. Up, hit him. Up, hit him. Good. Up. Here we go. Here we go. Finish. That's it. Rebound. Here we go. Good. Next. Let's go. Up. Simple. Here we go, here we go, up, keep the dribble, keep the dribble, yep, good, ring ding, rebound, 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 point guard back, point guard back, point guard, always don't let them, or let the, the situation push you here under the basket, okay, you can, of course, if you see, hey, I know where the ball is coming down, go after, but don't go too deep, start a little bit further out, because on a long rebound, we're going to get killed on the on transition, all right, um, so that was simple. Second one, uh, White, come out again. Um, I'm going to give you two offenses that you might use or at least have seen to, to keep it simple. Now I want, this is my, my shooter now. Um, I'm going to have the, the foreman here, the five men here. You're, you're standing correctly. Four men here. Five, you're four? All right, you're the four men now. Come up here, bump, five men. Okay. So um, let's call this Iverson because it starts with an Iverson entry. And a lot of times you see this as an entry to go into any kind of pick and roll action or even post-up action. So you 
bring in your defender here. You set the first screen, you pin down on him. Bob, you use the second screen on the split line, not too far on, 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 on this side. Sorry, uh, invert four and five, please. Four men, come here. All right. You set the screen here. Bob, you get, up, you get open. Okay, stop. On this catch, uh, a lot of times you will see this, and if you see our national team games this, this June, uh, we're going to run this for, for Pöltl, most likely. That he has, after this screen, you pop out here, like 45. Okay, you have the choice now to throw it to him, post up, or to throw it here, and then we're going to go cross screen, screen to screener. Okay, so we're just going to go. So it's actually a post up action. But in this case, we're, we're not going to use the post up action. Okay, we use this basically, so they might have seen this, that we want to post up the, the, the big and all this, right? But we're going to run something different. So we use this action, but now the five man comes up to screen. Uh, you, you could like fake uh, like a cross screen, but he's coming up and you follow him right after. Okay, what are you going to do? Which spot are you going to fill? Go there. Go to the spot you want to be. Now go to the spot I want you to be. What did I tell you? Like, as deep as possible. Okay, as deep as possible, same you. You get to this spot. And now we have that same, same element, just with the different entry out of it, so we, we steer up the defense a little bit. Before we run simple, everybody knows, okay, uh, yeah, clear, not nah? pick and roll and, 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 and back screen. Here they might think, oh, that's the post-up play that they've been running for a couple times, but it's a, it's a different wrinkle. So I told you before, it could be a clear set, or it could be a wrinkle out of an offense. Okay, let's run this. We call it Iverson because it's Iverson entry. Okay, you come up here, you set a good screen on him, so bring your defender down. Here we go, pop. Both, you get open here. Now, stop, no, don't pass the ball. You keep it. Okay, I mean, you can pass it, get it back, yeah, but then, then, then get it back. Yeah? And you're, you're out, but you're coming, you're coming, you're back screening. Yes, pop, here we go. Up, pop, up. Good, either option. Very good, very good. Yeah, 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 go, 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 finish, 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 finish. Nothing done. Hey, see, positive, you have two points and an offensive rebound. All right, if you make the first one, you just have two points. You can add a rebound to your stat sheet, so go for it. Here we go. Okay, you're going to be the shooter, right? You're going to be the shooter. Here we go, up, pop, use him, use him, get out 45, up. Good, that's it, very good. Up, good, Spain, here we go. And finish, and finish, 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 finish. Here we go, okay. One more time, one more time, Iverson. Iverson. You can pass, you can pass to him and get it back. That's fine too, but it's always like if you're overplayed after this, we added something that they might take away, right? So you might just want to keep the dribble, but be ready for pass, pass back to either one. To him, pass back, to him, pass back, yeah? Doesn't matter. Here we go, up, let's go. Screen him, screen, 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 screen. Here we go, good. Pop, get open, quick back, quick, up, here we go, good. Corner, corner, that's it. Pop, here we go. Oh yeah, getting tricky here. Finish, finish, finish. So Stefan spoke about how to create creativity. I'm going to talk about how to not kill creativity, so I'm not going to say something here. If he turns it over, I'm going to say something. Here we go. Let's go. Split line. Split. Stop, 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 stop. Split, split line. Not too far. Set it more here. Set it more here. And remember that your, your butt wants to show to the target where you want the shooter to go at. Right? So if you set the screen like this, the target is high. Yeah? The, like a, a string going through the middle of your backside will show where the shooter should come out. And since we want to have him come out here, this is where the butt should show, all right? You remember what Stefan told you, right? So if you're locked like here, you might just run straight out, right? If they lock you here, you come in here, boom, you might go straight out, go, 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 pop, go, go, get open, get open, get open, hop, get open, pop, good, here we go, 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 get him, good, 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 hop, that's it, and finish, okay. Finish, very good, very good. You see, they already, we already have three guys on offensive rebound. That's a good habit to create. Okay, you're ready for a third one? Uh, let's use something sideline out of bounds. Uh, let's have the, the pick and roll player, and now I want to use my foreman as a back screener to give them this look as well. As I told you yesterday, modern basketball, most foremen are stretch fours. And most foreman defenders have, how should I say, um, have problems to defend certain elements. And it's not very common to play a Spain pick and roll with a four-minute spec screen. 
Okay, so you might cause some conf uh, confusion or you might uh, initiate a switch that you want to explore afterwards because it's easier to switch 4-5 than it is to switch 2-5, uh, right, from the offensive standpoint. Uh, so let's have a, a guard here. Uh, we need a good ball. You can be you know, my ball handler here. Okay, you're the, the four-man shooter. Okay, we have, we set up in the box. All right, so a five-man start down here. Five-man start down here. So, um, we're gonna call this zipper because it's a zipper entry. It starts, in the, it starts in the box. Correct, yes, you pin down your weight. Wait just, just, wait just a little bit. You're going, and as soon, like, as soon as he's coming up, you're coming down, so you're moving opposite of him because I want him to also be open Right? If they take this pass away, that he can be open, we can play this off a, uh, off a handoff as well. All right? So he's getting open, we throw him the ball, he's getting open, you're spacing out, and the foreman is setting the back screen. So you're using him on his catch. On his catch, you already want to be up here. So he can catch the ball and rip through, and he's immediately hitting him on the back screen. Boom, yes, those two guys are in the deep corner, and we go from there. All right, let's run it one more time. Let's call it zipper. Here we go. Up, up, get open. Yes, timing is good. Up, swing throw. That's it. Very good. Very good. Read it. Good. Here we go. Rebound, 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 rebound. Okay, good. Point guard, don't forget, don't get caught deep. All right, you, you got to be stopper, so you're moving back, move to this area at least. You will be safe in this case because you're last man. All right, and let the wings crash the offensive boards. Um, Raid, come in. Going to help you out. Don't worry. Zipper. We set up in a box, all right? You inbound the, the basketball, looks good. Here we go, let me see. Up, 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 good, timing is good. Up, rip through, good, very good. Corner, 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 yep. Here we go, up and finish, excellent. Very good, okay, uh, wait, come one more time. Let's run from this side. Let's run from this side. Concentrate, run it from this side. So, hey, what if we, what if we say, okay, hmm, uh, we, we actually want the inbounder to set the back screen. I want you to be the, the back screener and the span pick and roll. Find a solution. Ready? Let's go. Up, up, hit him, hit him, hit him. Yes, very good. Excellent, excellent, very good, very good. Keep it high. Keep it high, keep it high. Don't bring it down. Good. So, I want, yes, I want you to be my my back screen in this. Uh, no, sorry, I want you to be my back screen in this situation. Okay, no, no, stay here. Uh, you'll be, you just sprint in and set the back screen. You set the back screen on the, you're the shooter. Okay, here we go, pop, up, timing, good. Rip through, under the basket, yeah, good. Here we go, hit him, yes, bravo, up, step back, good, ring ding. Okay, rebound, 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 yeah. I know it's five on zero, but you have to make, like the players need to understand that we're, when we do something five on zero, we're creating habits. And the one thing we don't want is create bad habits. So you can either be an offensive rebounder or you can be a safety stopper. What you can never be is a watcher. So if you see someone stand here like this, you know something is wrong. And if you allow it in five on zero, they're going to do it five on five as well. Okay? So we got those three offenses. You got it? Okay, let's put them to use. Um, again, when you have a concept, you want everything else that develops to make sense within the concept. So when we go into a game and we say, okay, and that's going to be the first topic, we're going to switch everything. We want to put this to use in our Spain pick and roll as well. And I will explain. I'm going to take three main defensive coverages on pick and roll. I'm going to use switch. Uh, I'm going to use the flat hatch or, or, or uh, a drop defense. And I'm going to use the hard hatch uh, as three examples. And I will show you within those concepts how we would defend the Spain pick and roll without having to say it. Because we know, okay, we're switching. We automatically know how we run the Spain pick and roll. And the big advantage is... And this is something that we need to keep in mind that a lot of times the Spain pick and roll is just a fake. So if you have a rule, okay, pick and roll, we defend like this, and you have Spain pick and roll, you defend totally different. What do you do if they just fake the Spain pick and roll and somebody calls out Spain, 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 Spain? You have a problem. 
right? So we're trying to avoid this. Wait, I don't care if this becomes a Spain pick and roll or not. And you will see immediately what's going to happen. Okay, um, red team uh, defense, white team on offense. We run simple first. We run simple, the first one. So now we talk about switching defense on ball screens. We talk about switching defense on ball screens. This was my topic last year. So all of you remember, and I don't have to repeat this anymore. That's the good thing. I know the guys here remember at least a little bit from, from yesterday. I, I'm still going to repeat a little bit. But if we say, OK, we switch, we're going to switch. And we'll keep it logical. Yeah? And I'm talking about switching ball screens. I'm not talking about switching anything else right now. OK? So for the method of teaching team defense and rotations, I always put this in three parts. The first part is defensive walkthrough, so that I let them run through the offense or, or maybe move through the offense, but in a slower pace, and I just focus that everybody's in good position. Okay? That's the walkthrough phase. The, the second thing um, is that we say, okay, we play offense for defense. So offense plays almost on game speed, but you do not punish the defense. You do not counter the defense. You, you help the defense with your offense. That's the second stage. And the third stage is life. So when we would prepare for an opponent, um, and we have, okay, they run this set, this is exactly what we would do. First, defensive walkthrough. Second, offense for defense. Third, life. Okay? So we start with the defensive walkthrough. First of all, I want everybody to be in the position that you would be in uh, if, we're, if we were live. Get in position. Position has two aspects. Position is the, 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 the distance to the ball, and position is the stance. So maybe you're in position to the ball, but none of you is in the stance. Because what I want to see, yes, you're, you're compact, and this is important here. I want these guys here to be compact in this situation, but I want you to be down, and I always want you to have one hand up on the ball. No matter where you are, one hand is up on the ball. And the second hand is towards your man, so you could deflect and intercept this pass. Okay, you put pressure on the basketball, you force him, okay, you could shade him one direction, but for me, most important thing is that we put a maximum ball pressure and we play him straight up, no matter where they are. We don't force baseline or middle or anything, we play them straight up. If you heard a coach clinic from me 10 years ago, I would have told you, force baseline, force into the help, and so on. In modern basketball, you try to avoid rotations as much as possible. Stefan also said this uh, 10, 15 years ago. Uh, I write players' books for my, for my players with the defensive and offensive concept. And if I take the players' book from 10, 15 years ago, we play it on the line and up the line. As just as Stefan said, we deny, 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 deny. These days are over in I'm talking about now adult basketball not saying that you should not do this for, for kids or whatever. The defense is more compact. You overplay certain entries. Maybe you overplay an entry. Maybe you overplay a certain player. But you barely find everybody on the line and up and leaving gaps here for penetration. So you pressure him. Okay, we're not going to get too much into details, otherwise I'm going to hold a fundamental uh, clinic. You get your butt down, you get your hand up, to one hand showing to the ball, one hand is as high to the ball as possible, okay? The other hand is, is, is pointing towards, uh, towards your man. You sit down and you're as flat as possible, and I want you to move, like it's, it's like fencing. Because yeah? if you're stagnant, if you're down, it's hard to move. But if you're already moving, you're ready and you're more alert. Okay, so now what's going to happen, you set the down screen, you try to stay connected with your man. So as soon as it's coming, yes, you body up on him, you chase him through, and you stay connected with him. You don't get beat, you don't get beat, you don't get beat, you don't get beat. Okay, here's the screen coming. Now, we switch this screen. We said we have a couple methods on how we want to switch this. We want to switch aggressive. Yeah, so you switch like you're hatching out hard. You switch aggressive. You switch over. Right? So now you're setting the back screen. 
Okay, we're setting the back screen. We're gonna keep switching on this. Okay, you set the back screen on the big man's defender. Who's this? Yes, that's him. Another switch. Switch, boom, get him, all right. Switch him, okay. So this, we eliminate this step out. This is eliminated. Where we are vulnerable now is that we have one mismatch here and one mismatch there. But the main idea of this back screen step out shot is eliminated. So I have to uh, understand, okay, what do I want to take away in that Spain pick and roll? In this case, at least, the shot is taken care of. And now I have to talk about, okay, what do I do with the other mismatches? One thing that's, that's important, stick to the defensive principles on switch. So only switch on contact. Okay, only switch on contact. If there's fake, then you play one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, you only switch on contact. And I know that we're really high on communication and we're really high on, on, on having our players talk. I can tell you this changes when you play in front of 15,000 people and everybody's yelling at you. It doesn't matter if you call out switch or whatever. Nobody hears you anyway. So I, can, I heard a lot of coaches who said, don't call out the screen because what it makes the defender just look left, right. It doesn't matter. You stop your man one-on-one. -on -one. If you hit, if you get hit on the screen, and when he gets close, you see him anyway. And if you get hit, okay, the, the, the defender has to react, but concentrate on stopping your man one-on-one, -on -one. okay? Since we're working with, with youth players and the chances that they play in front of 15,000 in the next two years is, I would say, relatively small. So let's at least force them to, to communicate and to talk. So we want to talk out Spain. You just have to call out Spain. Yes. As a handler, is still my first goal that I can't switch to. Or can we switch to? We want to force the switch right now. Yes, we want to force it. It's a very good. It's a very good. A very good point you just you just made here. Yeah? But let's do it now because otherwise we're never going to switch because you're going to fight over every screen. Yeah? But it, the the basic concept again is um, that if no screen, no switch. Yeah? So if they just fake this, we would stay with the uh, with the guy. If you don't get hit, there's nothing. But you're going to get hit now. <laughs> okay. So um, let's go. Let's run simple. Stay down in stance here. Bob, get that hand up to the ball. Get that hand up to the ball. Here we go. Here we go. Up. Go. 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 Go down. Up. Bob. Okay. Good. Bob. Switch. Good. Switch this up again. Okay. Stop. Good. Okay. Right. So. We would be, we were almost live. Uh, so we, we all, oh, no, I would say we, we just entered the second stage. They played for defense. Uh, they played offense for defense, which is, which is pretty good. Um, one thing is important, and this is not only in Spain pick and roll, but in every switch, that we have good ball pressure here uh, on, the, on the guy, that you really use your hands, that we can take this away. What could we do to reduce this mismatch here? Who's the most important guy in this setup? Yes. The guy from the blind side. We have no two-man side, right? It's one-man side, one-man side, and, and they play here. Uh, usually, and you will see this when we go in, in soft hedge or hard hedge, that the two-man side is, is very important for help, uh, where we have two outside players. Now we don't have a two-man side. So what we need is the blind side to be alert. So run this again, and, and please do it in a, in a defense for offense or almost defensive walkthrough situation. If you see him, he comes, yep, go down, you decoy, pop. As you see him go this direction, shift over a little bit, yes, pop. And if they switch, okay, you stay on top of him, yes, you can slow him down. You make sure that you immediately, when he comes up, that you initiate contact here, that you don't give him the chance to go out here and get rid of you. All right, you wouldn't pick up the, the, the dribble, of course. And since you, switch over this guy here, and you hear from him, especially when this is a, is a foreman, all right, I got him, then you meet him actively, and you keep sprinting this direction, so we can make this a triple or almost quadruple switch in this situation. But this is your call. Uh, if you see him, he's fine. Uh, you just have to be alert. You got to be ready here to get involved in the play. And this is not only the, the case on switch. This is the case on, uh, on the soft edge. This is the case on the hard edge, which, which is going to be a trap afterwards. He always needs to be our safety, our security here. This guy is important. And you have to know this. So whenever you see whoever sees the backside number of the guard is the one we call the last man. Now you can call out last, 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 last. You gotta get a little bit more to the ball, but you gotta be, you gotta have a foot in the paint and your mind on the shooter. 
a foot in the paint and your mind on the shooter. Because what cannot happen is that he gets an open shot just because you were in deep. Yeah, you got to be ready and we got to be as aggressive as possible here to make it easy for him. But you got to know uh, if that ball throws, it's your job that on the catch you can either deflect it or that you are here and you run him off that three-point line if he's a sniper or at least you stop the and contain the drive if he's more of a driver. Okay, so foot in the paint and your mind on the shot. All right, so uh, let's go live on simple. Let's go live on simple. Okay, here we go. Let's go. Up. Up. Stay close, stay close, stay close. Good. Push him, push him. Heads, 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 heads. Good. Hands up. Rebound, folks. Rebound. Wow. Grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it. Okay, good, good. Let's go offense, defense. Um, what was the problem here? They exposed the switch. And the problem is that we worked on offensive against switch defense. <laughs> so they put it to use, which is a very good sign. And he turned the corner on the big. And why was this possible? Because you hedged out, but you stood up. And if you stand up, he can attack your hip, and you can never allow him to get around your hip. So what, how you want to, that first step, let me be the, the defender on you that, that you see. OK, he wants to scream me. I'm going to body up so I stay close. So now I arrive early, keep dribbling, keep dribbling. And now when I switch out, I want to go chest to nose, chest to nose to not allow him to get around me. What happened here is that he was too much here. Then he stood up, and then he could attack my outside foot. So I go chest to nose. I take away this first initial action here. And then as soon as he back dribbles, then I square up, and I'm like this. If he's out here, it's not going to be a possibility to throw the ball inside. So this is the way of aggressive switch, right? There's also, of course, the, the way, and I'm not saying right or wrong. I'm just saying we switch aggressively. There's the way of, of more containment switch. Uh, and if we play this summer with, with Jakob Pölkl and we decide to switch, we're probably going to play containment switch because there's not many guards in Europe who can attack Jakob and finish over him, right? So... Different story, but you have to know what your personnel is. So we like the aggressive switch. So I want you to take away this initial attack so he cannot turn the corner up. Now you go under him, and now you play him one-on-one. -on -one. And we're going to talk about how we solve this mismatch in a second. All right, we're live. Here we go. Ball pressure, ball pressure. Don't let him go by. Stop the ball, stop the ball, stop the ball. Up, up, get over him, stay over him. Good, very good, very good. Stop, stop, stop. Why did you, why are you worry about him? Don't worry about him. You switched on him, right? Yeah. Focus on him. Focus on him. He's fine. Right? If he gets deep, you can stunt, but you cannot help. This is ball side. Yeah, so you can stunt. And same thing. Hand on the ball, mind on the shooter. Hand on the ball, stunt, mind on the shooter. You cannot commit and help unless we want to rotate through. And then it's part of the concept. What do we want? Do we want him to help and rotate through, or do we want him to help? That's up to you. Up to you. Okay, but we're switching those three guys. Go one more time. Stay with your, stay with your guy on the, off the ball. Up, up, good. Up, switch out on him. Meet him, good, good, good. That's it, that's a stop. Okay, hold it, hold it. Very good, very good, very good. Okay, in this case, give the ball over there, please. In this case, we probably wouldn't have to help. But since we were aggressive here, since we were aggressive here, this action here, is very unlikely to get exposed, right? Because I have the guard now dragged out. If I think he's fine, then I don't have to do anything. But what, and this was, so sorry for uh, repeating, because that's what I did last year, but I just want to throw it at you. Um, if we feel like he needs help, how can we help him? Get in position, get in position, get in position, flat triangle position, where's the hand on the ball? Where's the hand on, yes, okay. Flat triangle, flat triangle, flat triangle. Yes, you get that hand up here, sit down. And this hand here is to deflect. This hand is here. If he holds like this, yep, is here to stunt. You got to be active with this hand. And this hand is playing the passing lane. Okay, and you got, always got to see both. You want to be in open stance, you always want to see both. If he moves, you got to move. Okay, but you're never allowed to turn because if he penetrates now, you cannot help on this. Okay, he might, he might beat you there. Okay. Now, what we do if we see, okay, 
They have their best one-on-one -on -one player here against our big man, and we want to avoid this. We have him force the ball towards the two-man side, which is middle in this case. And again, you heard yesterday, no middle, no middle, no middle. I don't believe in European basketball you can play like this anymore. Because in certain situations, you have to force towards the help. You have to force towards the stronger defensive assignment. Right? So what I want is that you shade him this direction. As soon as he takes the first dribble this direction, I want you to attack him, but you play the passing lane. This is the easy pass. So you got to play this passing lane. Okay, so you attack him like this, knowing that the passing, you force him this direction and make sure you stay down here so you can cut him off, but use your hands. You attack him like this. Who's the next guy to him? Go. As soon as he has him, you sprint under the basket. Who's the next guy to him? You wait until he's here. Bam, bam, bam. We have the big man back to the big. But we have to be proactive. We have to be proactive. We have to attack him. Okay, this is not going to work if you're passive and if you have your hands down and if you go like this where he can make a quick pass, he's going to be too late. It's boom, boom, layup or boom, boom, here to the big. You got to wait a little bit yeah, before he comes back. So that's why, uh, like still make this attack. We go in walk through. You, okay, bam, yes. Now you attack him. Okay, attack him. Stop. Okay, how are you going to attack him? Yes. How is your closeout? Do you open the baseline or the middle? Uh, the middle. Yes. Why? Where is the most dangerous pass? Uh, mm, not yet, because he's still covered. Who's open right now? Oh. So you have to play this pass. Yeah. So what we want, we attack, we close out against the pass, not against the drive. So we attack him. You make this pass. You attack like this. You know that he doesn't want to uh, make this pass. Is he in shooting range? No, you can play a little in between. All right, if he's on the three-point line, you got to attack him. Boom. Okay, you go and back. What do you do oh, once he passes? Step in here. So you're going to stunt against him. So if he puts the ball on the floor, you're going to get in here and stunt this off. You are on your way back. So if he really drives the middle, he's going to go right into the congested area. And you release him. He's going to help you. You got to trust him. He's going to help you to deny this pass, to prevent this pass. You're going to be like this. You force him to put the ball on the floor. And you're going to have the hand on the ball as soon as he, you got to move up a little bit because he stunts towards him. You got to stunt towards him and get back. Can we do this? Let's see. Here we go. Run simple. Here we go. Up. Five, five, five. Up. Up, switch, good, heads, good. One on one, one on one, up, attack, attack, heads! Hands up, hands up, hands up, good, rebound box, rebound box. Okay, good. Here, you need to stay with him a little bit more, so don't open up too deep, because if he can go between you two, this will happen. But what happened? He drove into the packed area, and we created a contested shot. Whereas they had the chance here to go small against big and big against small, or maybe first open layup on back screen or step out open three. So this is actually pretty good what we gave up. That being said, we still don't want to give this up. So now we have to find, is my, is my uh, concept wrong? I always have this question. We get beat and he hits a three, hits another three, hits another. Is my concept wrong? Then I have to maybe rethink it. Or did we just not execute it? And 95%, I would say 98% of the time, the execution is the problem and not the concept. And you will have players who always find the problem in the concept because that means that they are good. They did everything right. But no, they didn't. Force the players to find ways to make it work. Say, you make it work. That's your job to make it work. Don't think about concept. That's my job. That's what I'm getting paid for. You make the concept work. That's your job. That's why you're here. If you want to show me why it doesn't work, go somewhere else. Right? So we have to, but again, maybe you're making a crucial mistake. Maybe you're, you're letting him go like this and he can sip the pass and he's open all the time. Then it's your mistake. It's got to make sense. And you got to teach this like over and over and over again. 
Have him attack. Boom, 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 boom. Have him play that passing lane. Don't leave too early. Okay, but you got to sprint back so he can get out as quick as possible. You got to help him. He's helping you. You're helping him. You're helping him. You have to be, you're the key guy. All right, here we go. Let's go. Simple. Here we go. Hands, hands, sit down, sit down, sit down. Be active. Up, switch out, aggressive. Go up. That's it. Up. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Okay. We came to a different, they found a good solution here, so they attacked inside. What was the problem? Your hands were too passive. Okay, so you gotta have your hands, yes, more active, and you cannot let him get in front. Okay, uh, not let him get in front. <laughs> you, you, you know what happened, you switch over, right? And then you push him down. Let him throw yeah? this high pass here, unless he stops here, then it's a different story. But if he's below this, like one meter below the, the, the thing, you just get on his, on, his, in, on, on his thigh here and push him down. Push him down, because now it's also very difficult for him to, to catch a pass and to get airborne if he has contact down here. So worst case scenario, you make a foul before he even catches the ball. Oh, sorry, my bad. Foul, sideline, nothing happened. Right? And he's going to help you on that lob. You're going to be very active here. Yeah, he's out here, so this pass is slow. You're like this, and you see that ball is in the air. He might have a problem. He's going to be here. He's going to help you out. Okay, so you do everything you can to not let him get in first position. Go again. Here we go. Step up. Good. Here we go. Hands. Good. Attack him. Attack. Attack. Good. Rotate. So. Rotate. Hands. Good. Rebound. Okay. Rebound. 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 Grab it. Grab it. Rebound. Grab it. Good. Okay. Very good. Okay. He found that pass. Right? He found that pass. Why was the pass open? You were slow getting back, and you were not aggressive enough, forcing him to drive. Force him to drive. We want him to drive. Right? This is, this is some uh, on coming up here. Oh, he, he made the pass directly, right? Didn't give the ball to him. Okay, then you still got to be in between. Okay. okay, so you're moving up. Yeah? You, you know that you got to be there on the catch. But if he makes that pass, like as soon as the ball is in the air, you're going. But if you're still in between, he's going up, and as soon as the boss flies here, you're still the closest to be here. So you're covering two guys for a split second. The harder you guys work with your hands and pressuring the ball, the more you help him. Okay, the more you help him. Here we go. It's good that we have a, a good point guard here who can read situations, so we need to get better defensively. Here we go. Switch it, good. Rebound, okay. Problem of a split. It's mostly disconnection. It's mostly disconnection. So either the big man got disconnected, right? So you're, you got screened and you got away from him and then you wanted to show hard, but you left the gap. You can never leave a gap. You always got to stay connected, no matter what defense we run, whether it's switch, trip, black, stay connected, stay connected and don't let him get out. You can hold him here a bit. Hold him here first that to make sure that no, there's no disconnection and then move up. Okay, let's go one more time. Uh, ziehen raus diesmal. Ziehen raus und schauen, ob du, wie du dann dieses, uh, die Aktion von außen attackieren kannst gegen diese zwei Leute. Okay? Good. Hands active, hands active, hands active. Come attack him, attack him, heads, good. Pressure, hands up, hands up. Cut him off, cut him off, cut him off, cut him off. Good. And rebound, 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 rebound. Okay. That's what we said yesterday. Right, that this mismatch is not only there for post-up, but also for offensive rebound. But what we did well here, we had a contested shot. He drove, and the big man was still there. So this is a contested shot. All we got to worry about is now pushing him under the basket. Okay, let's switch up, switch out this. But you can still see, like, out of the Spain pick and roll, nothing happened. Uh, now it's, it's more about the mismatch solving inside, outside. But Spain pick and roll is taken away. Yes. I would like to ask on the Spanish. Uh, yes. Can you guys run it slowly? Just walk through, please. So if you're going over, keep going, keep going. Yeah. If they're going over the screen with the guard. Y yes. So in this moment, yes. if, yeah, keep yeah. going. Keep going. If the four wouldn't be popping up because they know what this situation. He rolls, and he cuts there. He's like, just hold the players and do like a little move. Uh, yeah. Five roll down, five yeah. roll down, still yeah. make two steps or three. This situation. And he stays connected. You pressure him here. You stay connected. 
right? So you're, you're like this, and you stay connected. I have him throw this pass. We can live with this. He has ball pressure, like he has pressure, yeah? and he seals me over it. I push him down, and I'm like this. Yeah? I believe this is a very tough pass to make with him, with him being here. But it's, again, it comes down to being connected and staying connected and having pressure on the ball. Now, this would be a very good read, of course, huh? because why stepping out when he plays you uh, and, and forces you out here? Yeah? But again, I'm, I'm, this is usually a sniper. They use this for, for a sniper, right? So does he feel comfortable here? I don't know. Uh, it's a different story when they played with the foreman, as I said. No? So I might want to bring the foreman in this spot. But then still, I have active hands here. I have a guy here who sees this. So this probably needs to be a bounce pass. It's a good chance we can catch this. Yeah? But of course, this will be a read. And that's something uh, we need to understand. That there's a counter for everything. Yeah? Basketball is wie Schachen ohne Würfel. <laughs> uh, there's something uh, always, you can always counter it. There's an answer for everything. And I'm going to have an answer to you. You're going to have an answer back. I have an answer to you. The thing is that we can discuss this for an hour, but this happens within a split second. And it's not about what we can discuss out and who's going to end up with the, with the solution that the other guy cannot counter anymore. It, it, it turns out, how can we educate our players here that they find a solution by themselves? And therefore, we've got to give them a whole bag of tools where they can solve any situation that might occur. So we have to train them to read those situations. Okay, if he does this, okay, common sense. And I really like the approach from, from, from Stefan. It was to me, I call it the Mr. Miyagi approach. You do something and you have no clue why you do it. You guys are too young for this. You know Karate Kid? The old version? Not the Will Smith version, the old version? Okay, Auftragen polieren. Right? He did this for days and didn't have a clue what this was for. And that's what, was, what, what, what Stefan just did. No? And you paint the fence. And you have no clue why you're doing this. You say, well, why the hell are, am I doing this? Don't worry about it, do it. And all of a sudden it makes sense. All of a sudden you put the piece together, ah, I'm defending. Huh? Ah, I'm defending. Right? So that's that's what we need to do. We gotta give them input. They don't need to know all the time why we're doing certain things. Just have them repeat and, 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 and get it. Let's do it one more time because we need to move to the next to the next option. Off gets. Go switch. Go switch. Here we go. Up. Good. Stay close. Good. Good. Up. Attack him. Attack him. Attack! 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 Hands! Okay. What happened? He underestimated Clinton's shot. Shouldn't. You should have seen practice before. I would not have underestimated Clinton. I know he can shoot. So what you did is you were, it's an option, but it's not my concept. The option is to just fake stunt and get back, like to force this pass and get back. I can do this. You did it out of my concept. You gambled, you lost, sub. Right? But it's, hey, okay, he tried. He got, he paid for it. And now I have to explain him why. I said, look, you allowed this pass. Now you just, you faked. And you, when you fake like this, your other hand needs to be like this. So because you know you're fake in this, what do you want? You want the pass, right? If you go like this, you don't want the pass. If you go like this, you want the pass, but then you have to get it. How do you get it? With this hand. And this hand was down, and that was the problem. Yeah? So you go here, you go here, you get the pass, and then we're going from there. All right, here we go, let's go. Close, close, close to him. Hoppa. Hits. Good. Up. Here we go. Ready to attack. Ready to attack. Hits. Okay. Nothing happened. Baseline. Oh, whoa, whoa. All right. Okay. Rebound. 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 Grab it. Okay. So I'm not going to go too much into details, rotations after this. The one thing was clear. We took the... Did I catch the train? Schöne Grüße nach in den wilden Westen. Um... We're talking about different topics now than the Spain pick and roll. The Spain pick and roll we took away. That was not a topic anymore. Right? The Spain pick and roll was eliminated. That's actually what we wanted. And now we need to work on all these other things. Now we're getting into topic, okay, uh, defending, switch, defense. But I did this last year, so I'm not going to bother you with this anymore. Okay, very good. Uh, let's switch offense, defense. We go to the second, second situation. Um, so we go drop coverage. Drop coverage. And now to, to keep you challenged a little bit, um, let's go. Uh, first of all, let's just set up a simple high pick and roll because you need to understand the basic concept of, of this 
uh, black defense. So we go this way. Let's have the two men side in the back so we go in a, in a high pick and roll action. Okay. I need to explain first what the, just in the simple high, without any Spain, what the responsibilities are, especially of the pick. Okay, when we go in soft coverage, we call it black, you can call it drop, you can call it whatever. Uh, again, I want you to, to have contact here, I want you to start high. Okay, you fight over that screen, that means you lock the hip, uh, which stop, which step is gonna go first? Which step, which leg is gonna go first, right or left? Yes, exactly. Yeah, the right leg goes first, you're moving up, you lock his hip and you fight over the screen. Okay, very good. You keep doing this, all right? The five men here is playing the lane and you're stopping the ball until he's over the screen. Right? You're stopping the ball and you're trying to stay connected to the five man. Try not to drag him out. If he can drag him out and he loses connection, yeah, because you got stuck on the screen, you did something wrong. Why do we play this type of defense? We want to stay home as much as possible. We want to avoid deep rotations. So yes, we can have him start a little deeper, but you need to have foot in the paint, mind on the shot. Okay, you got to move like as soon as he goes this direction, you're coming in here and we want you to slow the action down a little bit. Yes, to give him a high bump. Yes, and, and going back. Short closeouts, right? Short closeouts. Boom, short closeout. So you got to be proactive. Don't deny. Why deny? Just be like, okay. Yeah? Be compact. Okay, we want short closeouts. So the higher you can bump him, the shorter your closeout is. Right? If you meet him down here, this is a long closeout. So you got to be proactive. But the key thing is that you are stopping the ball until he's over the screen. If we run a Spain pick and roll, and now give me any player, you come in here. So just first we start with simple Spain pick and roll. This assignment changes. When we go black, first of all, it's very important that you keep fighting over that screen. Like if nothing happened, you stop the ball until you hear Spain, 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 Spain. And then the only thing you worry about is to get to your men. Because who's stopping the ball now? You are. You are stepping out. Okay, so that's why you need to stay connected with him. You cannot wait down here, otherwise we give up a pull-up. So you're coming with your men. You call Spain, Spain, Spain. And you lead him into him and switch out on this step out. Boom, boom. And now the advantage is that we have the five men still with the five men. And we just switched out the two guards. But you have to stay with him. If you stay down here, we give up pull-up jump shot. You can stunt a little bit. Who's the guy who helps us if shit hits the fan? Yes, you. So if you see that he does not get through the screen, you might have to pull the brakes and, and just step in and, and yes, uh, hit him, try to catch the ball, foul him, whatever you need to do. Yeah? But you hear Spain, forget about your duties to stop the ball. All you worry about is to get to the big and fight through the screen. You can even, like if he sets it like this, you can even get away and shortcut this. You have help from this side. Yeah, but get around the screen. Don't worry about the Spain anymore. But not before you hear it. Okay, here we have the, the communication factor again. All right, here we go. So, uh, let's first run it simple and then we go to the, to, to the Iverson action. Here we go, simple first. Simple first. Here we go. Stay close. Step up. up. Stop him. Stop him. Stop. 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 Don't worry about the back screen. Don't worry about it. Yeah, you call it out early. And if you're proactive, if he moves up and you are here, as soon as you call out Spain, you don't worry about the, the big here anymore. You st step out and you be aggressive on him that this is a hard pass. And he fights through the screen with your help. A bit, but you got to be proactive. I, I show you just a, a bit on how this needs to be run. Uh, don't kill an old man here and try to make it in a defensive walkthrough, at least offense for, for defense. Just step out for, uh, for a second. Okay, so we have, to, we have the down screen here. Push him off the screen. Here we go. Get through this. Okay, pop. So now I have pop. Come over. We got Spain, 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 Spain. Hop, bo, bo, bo. Like this. Like this. Okay, that gives him. The chance to get through this without a quick pass, you help him see how much you need to help, right? And you get through this and you just, I help you with my hands. Okay, let's go. Screen dog, dog screen, dog screen, dog screen, dog screen, right? Good, bravo. Stop, very good. 
No advantage. Right? No advantage. Okay? Uh, let's run, let's run, let's run Iverson. We run Iverson. Off gets. Uh, do it first defensive walkthrough. First defensive walkthrough, and then we go right into life. Okay, help each other out. Help each other out. Here we go. Bam, 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 bam. Stay connected, stay connected, stay connected. Okay, no easy pass. If there's no pass, you keep the dribble. Here we go. Keep going. One on one, one on one. Stay with him. Come with him. Stop, stop, stop. Come with him. You're too far away. Go with him. You gotta be with him. Yeah, what well, you can also do. We know he wants to set the, the Spain pick and roll. You can delay him, like push him off. Yeah, because you, be physical with him. He comes for Spain pick and roll. Don't stay, stay down here. You, you got to stop the ball. Okay, so he's coming up. Yeah, he's coming up. You can be on this side already. Then push him off a little bit here. Boom, boom. You help him get through. All right, be physical. You got to stay in contact. You cannot lose contact. All right, here we go. Still walk through. Still defensive walkthrough. Here we go. Pressure on the ball. Don't look left, right. Pressure the ball. Pressure the ball. Pressure the ball. Pressure the ball. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Stop ball. Stop ball. Yep. Good. Up. Switch on him. Switch on him. Come over. Okay. All right. Stop. Good. If you see that you cannot get over him, you know, unless this is a, a, a terrific shooter, get off him and wait for him down here. See? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Because he... <laughs> okay. At least you're honest. <laughs> so I'm coming off. Okay. I'm stopping the ball, and now I hear, now I hear Spain, 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 Spain. I don't worry about this anymore. I just try, how can I get towards him? If he's a pick and pop guy, I need to get over this. But if he's a, if he's a roller, yeah, I can shortcut this quickly, because I have help from him, and then meet him here. But you gotta get to him as quick as possible. Okay, here we go. You gotta make sure you stop the ball though. Here we go, yes, life, 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 life. Here we go. See the ball, good. Stay close, stay close, stay close, good. Up, attack, attack ball, attack ball. Up, hands up, good, hands up. To the ball, to the ball, to the ball, to the ball, hands up, to the ball, to the ball. Here we go. Ah, yeah, okay, good, all right. Good, let's go again. Don't let him split it. If I fight over this screen, that's why I want the big man to start higher, because unless you hear Spain, it's still your job to stop the ball. So I start high, you fight over the screen, yeah? and I still, I'm here, stop. Because if he's late for that screen, yeah, or he, he just fakes it, hey, so what? I still have I, just a, a small second, all right? And then I'm gonna get, then he wants to back screen me, now I don't have to stay here, stay here, give him an angle. Now I hear the, 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 the switch action, I immediately just run under the basket, I wanna find him again. Okay, let's go again. Here we go. Good. To him, to him. Stop by, stop by, 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 heads, heads. Good. Okay, stop, stop, stop. The problem was not the concept. The problem was the, the step out. You were a little late and you gave him an angle. And you allowed him to turn the corner. So when you step out, you make sure that you stay in front of him, that he doesn't drive, that he doesn't penetrate. Okay, who was, you? who got caught? You, yes, you got caught. Yeah, so when you step out, you know you need to stop the ball. Okay, and it cannot be a direct drive. If you push him this direction, he can help you with stunt a little bit. Okay, but you make sure like when you step out that you keep him in front. Active hands, stay in front. All right, a lot of times it, it comes down to, to fundamentals. Right, in this case, it's, it's almost like a closeout. Here we go. We're live. Bum, 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 good. Good, that's it. Spain, 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 Spain. Come to, come to, come to. Very good, hands up to the ball. Good. Good, hands up, good, go again. Good, black, 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 okay, all right, okay. <laughs> he was waiting for the Spain. Huh? <laughs> but good, good, let's switch off in Stephens. Uh, you see now, the better the guard, the better you have to be defensively. Uh, so he's doing a very good job to look and find solutions, still found a way to cover it. Here we go, here we go. Stay close, stay close, don't get disconnected. To the ball, to the ball, to the ball, to the ball, to the ball. Stop ball, good, very good. Stop, okay, okay, all right. Clinton got hot here. <laughs> nice shot. Um, which means, like, if, if we, 
If we defend a player like this who's feeling it now and self-confidence is through the roof, hey, uh, you cannot stunt so much. You need to be a little closer back to him. But um, out of the Spain, they got nothing. Right? It was a one-on-one. -on -one. It was just a great individual performance from Clinton, but nothing yeah, that causes me any, any headache. Because we stopped the ball here, yeah, he was cut off, we had active hands, and he just took a shot, a contested shot, uh, over a hand. Yeah, so no, no big deal. Here we go. Uh, let's, let's, let's go one more time. Find a way. Stop it. Find a way. Yes. Oh, just a second. Yeah. Er muss kommunizieren. Er muss kommunizieren. Wir müssen nur wichtig, der Ball muss gestoppt sein. Ne? Dann bleibt er bei ihm, ist alles okay. Ne? Ja? Aber mach es nicht, nicht komplizierter als notwendig. Du führst ihn zu ihm, gibst ihm den über praktisch und nimmst da den nächsten. Okay, here we go. Bleib klar. Stop, 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 stop. Guys, in general, do not get separated from your offensive player. Never get separated. You, we need to teach our players to not get separated, no matter what happens, whether this is a, a screener who comes up here and, and screens, whether this is a turnout screen like Stefan before, you know, want to get rid of the, here, the same thing on this, you got to stay with him. You always have to be able to touch him. Never get separated. You always got to be on contact. And this is what we need to teach our guys. Stay connected. If you're disconnected, you've lost. Uh, on a high level, you've lost. You need to rotate. If you need to rotate, uh, you give up an advantage. If you give up an advantage, good teams find ways to get a good shots. All right, don't give him advantage. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Up to him. To him. To him. Stay close. Stay close. Stay close. Stay close. Stay close. Good. Here we go. Up. Up. Stop. 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 Good. Very good. Stop. Stop. Stay here. No advantage. St stop. Good. Because everything that happens now had nothing to do anymore with Spain pick and roll. Maybe he scores now, but then it's one on one, and that, but not the element. The element we have eliminated. Any question to this drop defense coverage assignment? Good job, guys. One last thing we have. One last thing we have. Now we go hard hedge, and whenever our basic defense is hard hedge, a Spain pick and roll turns into a trap. So we raise the level of aggressiveness because we feel like the spacing is not perfect to expose the aggressive defense. So let's start with the simple pick and roll again, then later on we're going to go in zipper. Okay, what's going to happen? You are coming up. So now, very important, you got to stay connected, right? You got to stay connected. You stay on his hip, say, don't get rejected. On the set screen, pop. Okay, you're ste stepping out 90 degrees to the half court line, parallel to the sideline. You use your hands, 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 hands. You make this pass impossible. Don't let him split, okay? You stay with your men. You stay with your man, because usually this is the best shooter. And we cannot allow him to read the trip and sprint out here, right? Then we might get surprised. You stay with him no matter what. And the blind side defender takes the role, and we leave the last guy open. Now, both guys, both wings need to stay super compact on this. Super compact, because why? This pass is not going to happen. What usually happens, what would you do against the trap? Uh, trap him again, please. Like run the Spain pick and roll. Okay, you deny him. What would you do on offense if they trap him? Yes, because you want to help him. Okay, you stay compact here. Because if he rolls your way here, yeah, you might be able to chuck him just a little bit. But who's the blind side? Who sees the backside number? It's you. Yeah, his eyes are going this direction. We don't mind. We don't mind if he makes a pass like way out there, but we do mind him making a, 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 an easy pass. So you start compact and he's moving up, you're moving up. And now you're seeing if you can get this because that's an easy look. Okay, it's a different story. If he catches it back there, don't worry about it. But as, little, as, as soon as he's at least balls are here, make this impossible here. This is taken away, and you're taking this away. So the only thing we're leaving open is this guy. Okay, we can say, let's find a team uh, that throws this, this pass for Lopez and, 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 and Eliup. Okay, if they can do this, we may not trap them anymore. Yeah, but you've got to be so aggressive with your hands on the ball that this is not the pass he's even thinking about. If the pass happens, we turn to plan B, hustling communication, figure something out. 
Don't make the coach look bad. Okay, if something, if they break the concept, go to plan B. Go to plan B, hustle communication, find a way. All right, let's see. Uh, let's go from the sideline. We go zipper. Let's go one time defensive walkthrough. Or let's play offense for defense, go second gear. Okay. Uh, and let's have your uh, our shooter here. So you set the back screen. Okay, here we go. Let's go. Up, up. Stay close. Stay connected. Stay connected. Stay connected. Stay connected. Trap, 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 trap. Okay. Up, hands, hands, hands. Okay. All right. Okay. Good, 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 good. Okay. Take away, take away the next pass. So one pass away, this pass, this pass, and the roll of pass, they, those passes need to be closed. We do not want this pass. The only pass we allow is this one. Yeah, the worst thing that can happen, how do you beat a trap like this for offense? What would you do? Now, I'm playing this against you guys. No, you're, you're on the opponent team. I'm coaching the other team. And we trap you. What would you do? Slip. It's one option. Very good. And then look where? Slip, okay, it's nice, but they still trip me. No? <laughs> so what do I do with the ball? Okay, this is denied. We're taking this away. We don't care about this. How do you, how do you attack a hard hitch or a trap first and foremost? Big man with short roll. Excellent. Yes, short roll. Short roll action. So we need to take this away. That's why you really have to come up and take this pass away. So the, the blind side, man, you got to be super active. Okay, to step in here and take away a shoulder, we've got to come up all the way. Okay, if necessary. All right, uh, zipper. Life. I'm on. Here we go. Stay close, stay close, stay close. Up. Hands, hands, hands. Compact, compact, good. Hands, hands, hands. Trap, trap, trap. Good, very good, very good. Uh, you see, I mean, if we can force him way out here, this pass is not going to become an option. This pass not going to become an option. Okay, and the Spain is eliminated. Good job. Let's switch off to defense. It's for me, it's better. I have got time moment. Ready? Ball in. Let's go. Up. Close, 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 close. Trap him. Trap, trap, attack. Don't get beat opposite. Switch, switch. Find somebody. Find somebody. Find somebody. Good. Hands up. Good. Get it. Okay, stop. All right, plan B, right? Something happened, plan B, hustling communication. What was the original problem? It was a basic thing? No, you tell me. <laughs> yes, you got rejected. Okay, so that's where the whole confusion started. So it's not the concept that I have to question, it's the execution of the concept. Hey, you got rejected, no problem. He's in the gym since 12 o'clock, no problem. Okay, he knows, next time we're not gonna get rejected here. Off case, let's go, here we go. Hands active, here we go. Bob, compact, compact, compact. Trap him, trap, trap, get out, get out, trap, trap, take that away. Good, very good, bravo, excellent, excellent, very good. And we're doing this against a pretty good point guard. And we're doing this against a very good point guard. Okay, so now, what by, with this defensive concept, I force my offense to become better. I force my offense to take another step. Right, so now, he's gonna learn, okay, Maybe I don't even have to take the drill. Maybe I make a quick pass to the five, right? Or maybe I drag him out and attack the hip of the big man. Then he needs to get better at trapping. That was very good because you didn't let him go around your hip. You were chest to nose, which is very important. Did a great job there. Okay, so usually the problem is not here in the rotation. Usually the problem is on the ball. So if I see that this becomes a problem, then we just play two on two. And I understand if you trap the ball, the five man is open. But if you have a very good trap, this pass is still hard. This pass is still hard. And then I make this three on three. I put the last guy here and have the last man rotate up and have him totally open. And we need to be so aggressive and so good here. This is taken away that we take this pass away. All right, you're doing good. Go one more time. Here we go. Zipper. Hands, 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 get out. Attack, 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 good. Heads up, good, rebound box. Okay, all right, see, he got better. All right, he got better. The one thing, like when he picks up the ball, we gotta determine, what did you say? Be more aggressive. 
yeah, be more aggressive. Like you can really be all over him because he's not going to dribble anymore. And we have to give them a rule. When do you recover? And I tell them, you, we don't recover before he passes. Okay, so on the pass, he goes back. He sprint, no, goes back. He sprints back. Yeah, but if he just picks it up, we're going to be all over him. All over him. We try to get a steal. We try to get that ball. Okay, let's go one more time. Try to find a way. Ready? Ball's in. Here we go. Close, stay close, stay connected, no rejection, stay connected. Yep, cut him off, cut him off, heads, 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 good, very good. Rebound, very good, very good. Okay, it's good, it's good. It's all good. Here we go, go again, find a way. Um, two things, you saw him like he hasn't even dribbled yet. So because, then of course you can say, okay, hey, he hasn't dribbled yet, why would I, why would I step out? Uh, but you could help him by really attacking him yeah, then it's like he has dribble. It might be a little easier for him to make the pass, uh, but you're going to help him out. And now who's the, who's the dominant player on the red team? It's the point guard. So we have to try something to get the ball out of his hands. Okay, so get off. If, if he gets it to somebody else, he'll let somebody else figure it out. But he needs to get it out of his hands. Okay, so you, you attack him. Here we go. Let's go. Yep, hop, hop, attack, attack. Bravo, bravo. Here we go. Very good. Very good. Switch offense, defense. Let's go from the other side. We go one more time. Go from this side. The more aggressive we play defensively, the more we teach our players to get sharper on offense, technique, yeah, step back, dribble, passes, one-handed, uh, retreat, dribble, boom, boom. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Get him back. Get it back. Get it back. Stay connected. Stay connected. Stay connected. Heads up. Get him. Get him. Here we go. Good. Bravo. Go one more time. Go one more time. And you see, like, on all those screens, the, the main thing is that we stay connected. Do not allow anybody to get away from you. Stay connected with your men. All right, here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Hands active. Hands active here. Hands active. Up. Get on the ship. Step up. Up. Trap. Trap. Stay close. Cut him off. Hands up. Get that. Hands up. Hands up. Get to the ball. Here we go. All right. Those two passes should be enough to get from this position to this position. So you got to fly with the pass. Okay, we don't want them to get that easy pass out. We made a mistake, but still we can fix it if everybody jumps to the ball. You got to fly with the, pass, with the pass. Always be compact. Always come to the ball. Always to the ball. Let's go one more time. Let's fix it. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Stay close. Stay close. Stay close. Heads up. Attack. 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 Deny. 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 Bravo. Here we go. Here we go. Good job. Bravo. Guys, excellent job. Well, please give a round of applause for the guys. Those are three examples of different defensive concepts, putting them in sync with an element like the Spain pick and roll. Different approaches different strengths and weaknesses of each variation. But this is where I come in place, that I determine, okay, this is what we rather give up than something else. And if I see that they have a, a very dominant point guard, I might have to adjust my whole pick and roll defense to this. And then it doesn't matter if they run the Spain pick and roll or not. Do you have any questions? Who better? Yes. Okay. The uh, the question was if I um, if I know they play zipper, if I would switch this initial down screen. Simple. Um, no, I wouldn't, because I give up a, a, a mismatch after one screen. Right, because if I, if I switch this and the big man reads this, he would stay down low, he would sprint out, and I have the big man here against the guard. So I could do this probably once. Uh, I don't think I could do this on a consistent basis, but it, of course it's, it's, it's worth consideration. I mean, there was a situation where we had a, um, I think it was Göttingen, we knew that they run this uh, at the end of, of quarter, and we would do exactly this. 
and we'll say, okay, listen, um, if they set down screen for Spain, we're going to switch the first screen, and then we just have switch guard guard, and everything is fine. Uh, so of course it's it's an option. But uh, um, again, I would not uh, I would try. There we go again to keep it as simple as possible. Uh, um, if I give them too many rules and they start thinking, they slow down. If they slow down, aggressiveness suffers. If aggressiveness suffers, uh, effectiveness goes to zero. And I want my players to be aggressive. I want to tell you one small uh, story from my second last year in, in Austria. We played in the final series uh, against Gmunden. And uh, we were going for the first championship for Wales history. Now, we already had won a cup. But the, the, the club was waiting for decades, almost 60, 70 years in the league, always high budget, never won anything. It's not easy. Um, but that was the situation. And we were in the finals against Gmunden, and um, we had no chance to stop Dieter Mays and, and, and Boylan. Um, uh, no, it wasn't Boylan. Another guy. Uh, huh? No, we just couldn't stop them one-on-one -on -one period. So we decided to play a 2-3 zone. After game one, so game one we lost in Gmunden, uh, and we were down 20, so I said, okay, let's try 2-3 zone. It actually looked pretty good. We cut it down to 10 or 11, uh, and we knew, okay, we might have found something in the series. So game two comes, we play zone, whole game, 2-3 zone. And we beat them because they couldn't find an answer, so we tied the series 1-1. Afterwards, we were in the video room and we were checking. It was John Dickelman was one assistant coach. Um, I think Martin Schiller was the other one. And we were watching how we moved on 2-3 zone. And we did everything wrong you could do wrong. Rotations were totally off. I could say like the, the analysts, the, the specialists they had on, on Sky, they were thinking, hmm, ah, yeah, it's a matchup zone, great. Ah, it's a 2-3, ah, it's a 3-2. We just didn't have a clue what the hell we were doing. But... It worked because the guys believed in it and they just did it. They, they played plan B the whole time, hustling communication, rah, 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 boom, 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 boom. Brandon Thomas had no clue where he was going. But he had long arms and he would all of a sudden play defense and everybody was really engaged. And we won game two, game three, game four, champion, thank you. Our zone was terrible. But we did not make the mistake and correct or go into, into details and say, look, you need to go here. What would have happened? They would have started to think. And if you think, you slow down. So th sometimes you don't know why the hell it's working. Let it work. Don't fix something that's not broken. Yes. 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 Uh, basketball development. Basketball development. Um, because players, um, we just, the floor got too wide. And we always got in rotations. And the, the court got wider with the, three-point line moving out, so spacing was bigger, right? The, the, the paint, the zone, went from this to this, so the floor got wider. A, a, a low-post player would not be here anymore, but he would be here, and this half meter makes a big difference, which is actually a meter because the three-point line, instead of being here, was out here. So the whole, whole floor got wider. Now the spacing, it was much more difficult for the defense to defend, shooters would not shoot from here or even here. They would shoot from here. They would be a threat here. So everything got wider. And we just felt like we, did not, we could not stop them anymore. And we had to rotate, rotate, rotate. And in modern basketball, you want to avoid rotations. Uh, most teams try to keep the, the, the pick and roll in two and two. Two and two. Not help here and help them. No, two on two. Fix it. Fight through the screen. Destroy the screen. No help. No rotations. Fix it. That's the tendency. So I had to, uh, and I was, I mean, if you did uh, your B license course or A license course 15 years ago with me, you heard exactly this in Sheldrill. One pass away, on the line and up, thumb down, all these things. I totally got away from it. If I didn't, I would not be coaching anymore today. So that's what I said yesterday. You have to stay on top of the game. You have to develop with the game. You have to adjust towards how the game is, is played. Some things don't make sense. Some tendencies don't make sense. That they, they, they come and go. It's like clothes. No? They're, sometimes they're baggy. And now those, those kids all want to run with shorts like this. 
Uh, when, I was, uh, when I still played, we were laughing at those guys. Those were the guys from the 70s, early 80s. They played in shorts like this. John Stockton played in shorts like this. Looked ridiculous to us. We had shorts. You were not allowed to see our knees. Otherwise, it wasn't cool. Our shorts were down here. We had guys who, who had shorts who were going down here. That was cool. Now you have those guys who, who go like this. Now they, they, they go like this to, to have the shorts up here again. It's the same with basketball and tactics. It comes and goes and comes and goes. And you decide if it makes sense for you or not. If you look good in baggy shorts, stay with baggy shorts. <laughs> it's the same with basketball philosophy. If the flex offense or elements out of it work for you, maybe you don't have to change it. You have to adjust that it's not 30 seconds anymore, but 24 seconds. So you may not be able to run it through two times. You may just have to take out segments. Or if the post-up works for you, just because the Golden State Warriors don't do it, why stopping it? But don't lose sight of uh, modern developments. Don't lose sight of modern developments. So if, if uh, the development goes into uh, shots, less mid-range layups or three-point shots, uh, ask yourself why this is the case. Maybe there's a point in this, and there is. Yes, please. So uh, how many coverages did you have on the pick and roll, if you would? If you take all wrinkles with it, 10. So um, we have a couple basic concepts. Um, I give my players a player's book in the beginning of the season. And it, it contains my basketball philosophy and, and all possible coverages that we would have with pick and roll. Uh, and there would be a, a switch defense, there would be hard hedge, there would be uh, drop coverage, uh, there would be uh, ice defense here on the, on the side. Um, we would have a uh, weak defense in the middle. We were always forced into the weaker hand. Okay, so those were the, the, the basic concepts. Within this, we would have different concepts. Like, if we switch, do we switch hard or do we switch soft? Do we switch over or do we switch under? Uh, if we trap, do we trap until the second dribble and then go back? Or do we trap until he passes the ball? Or do we trap until he picks it up? If you count these different coverages, we probably go into the 20s. Uh, um, but we had a bread and butter, and last year it was hard hedge. And with the national team, we went hard hedge. Uh, because we, we didn't have any bigs, like big bigs. Uh, we felt, okay, we need to be aggressive. And the very first game we played in this, um, in this qualification round was against Switzerland. And Switzerland is a more talented team than, than we are. But they, 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 they were so surprised about the aggressiveness that we showed that we won the game in the first 10 minutes. Then they adjusted, we had to get out of it. Yeah, we had to go to, to, to soft coverage because they picked us apart with the short roll and we were not uh, consistent enough yet to defend the short roll. We didn't have enough time to, to work on this. Yeah, but it was too late for them. That was a different story when we played them again. They were prepared, of course, yeah, so we couldn't surprise them with this anymore. Yeah, but we're still, like our aggressiveness got us over the hump. Uh, over a team like this. And, and then you got to see, okay, uh, bread and butter defense is this. With Jakob Pöltl, I can tell you, we're going to play the pick and roll different. Uh, we have to adjust to who we have. If Jakob is out there, it's a totally different ball game. We can be super aggressive on the guards. Because even if he gets beat... Uh, but it's a, it's a difference. Uh, if, if I have Poljak in here, yeah, who I really like as a, as a player, but he's not a shot changer. Uh, he, he doesn't keep anybody from driving to the hoop. So I got to see who I have, what I do. And I, I don't know yet. Right? If, if the insurance thing doesn't work out, I have to change some things. I never know who shows up for the windows. I never know. I have to come with my bags full of, of concepts. And I see, oh, hey, welcome. Okay, my center is a uh, 17-year-old Rashan Bemba, hey, welcome to the national team. This is what we do. Hey, I, I have to be flexible. I have to be flexible. What I need to do is that uh, to make it as simple as possible for the players because I have them for just for three days. So in three days, I have to show them my concept and they have to execute it. Then we play, first game, so-so, second game, great. Then see you, see you next time. I got a new team. 
Uh, we didn't have one camp <laughs> before we went through this first process of, of qualification. We learned just on the fly. We learned playing against Ukraine, playing against uh, freaking Slovenia. We had to learn in the game against the current European champion on how to defend certain situations. Yeah, so that's, that's the challenge uh, you have. Now, okay, COVID over, you can have a camp here or there. It makes things a lot easier. Uh, we looked much better last qualification round, not only because it wasn't Slovenia, Slovenia but it was, uh, it was uh, uh, um, Ireland. Of course, it's a difference. But also, we had a camp. We had one week with the guys together. They know what we're doing. They didn't look at me like this when I said, okay, hey, we chest to nose. Uh, so it, it's a difference. It's fun, though. I see you're tired. I see they're dead. So I hope that everybody could take something out of this. Although, again, if you're working in a, in a youth program, uh, this may not be for you in the next one, two, or, or three years. But I hope you, you got the idea of developing an idea, a concept. And even though those guys have never seen and those different concepts, yet uh, we still managed to get them to a level where it actually looked like basketball. And that's a good sign, because if we can do it in one hour after they've been in the gym since six hours already, you guys can do it with your team. Just keep working. Don't question your concept. First, you question the execution. It's not what you do, it's how you do it. Thank you very much. Have a great summer, and please come to the national team games. Thank you.